So sometimes I'm this girl. What do I want? Um, 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 I don't know. And other days I'm this girl. Yes, honey, go for it. Yes, pick me. I am the best option for you. Yes, honey, yes. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kupana Shimange and this is How I Do Things, the show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now you can take it as advice or use it as entertainment. Take it, don't take it, use it, don't use it, it is completely up to you. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Now when it comes to confidence, confidence is being sure of yourself and of your abilities. Now, I haven't always been so great with confidence. It's something that I've had to work on over the years. And I've come quite far with it, hence the show. But it's something that I've had to grow and work on and just become more confident in myself. There's many times and many stories that I can tell you about where I had opportunities to go after the things that I wanted. I just didn't have the confidence to actually speak up and say, hey, choose me or hey maybe you should try me or hey can i try that it's painful there's nothing more painful than knowing in your heart that you want something and that you are capable of doing that thing but you just are unable to speak up your body can't move and you end up having these internal conversations with yourself about what you should do and how you should act and what you should say but you don't have the confidence to speak up or to do the things that you want to do. So today we're going to be chatting about that. It's a boss moves Monday and confidence is definitely something that we need to boss up in life. So if you have any questions that you want to send to me, head over to my Instagram at Kapanashimange and look for this picture right here. It is in my Insta story highlights. All you have to do is go to my profile at Kapanashimange and you'll see there's a how I do things highlight. Click on it, you'll see this picture. Reply and let me know what you want me to speak about in our next video and I'll definitely do a video about it if it is juicy if it is about relationships i know this week is gonna be juicy honey so i hope that you are sending me more questions and scenarios about relationships about money about boss moves whatever it is that you want to send to me send it through now let's get started with this video number one here's a secret confidence is something that you can fake something that you can learn and something that you can grow over time not everybody is born with confidence and even if you see a person who's confident right now they weren't always like that they were the sweet nyana gonyanis they were the quiet ones they were shivering in the background saying nothing until something happened in their lives where just like i'm not doing this anymore i know what i want i'm going to speak up because i'm not going to take this nonsense in my life anymore so from this moment onwards just promise yourself this you're going to get your head into the game if it means that you have to fake it until you make it do it just as long as you learn that confidence because you have so much to gain from being confident so you have to start by saying you know what i'm getting myself in the game i'm going to learn how to be confident i'm going to build it i may not have the confidence right now but i'm going to get it i'm going to look at somebody that i can emulate and look at the moments which i can be more confident and if i've got to fake it i'm going to fake it till i make it as long as i'm confident and i get what i want out of the moment where confidence is needed out of me number two you have to understand that the more you stay silent, the more you suffer. The lack of confidence has made me personally suffer in my life. Like I said, opportunities where I could have had the dream job that I wanted, opportunities where I could have had the time. For example, I worked on radio before and I never put myself forward to work on certain slots when people were sick, to fill in for people, to work on the weekends because I was too scared. I wasn't confident enough to speak up. I got the job in the first place because I took a step outside of our confidence, but I didn't. I then moved back into my shell. And because of that, I never got the opportunities that I wanted to stand out. There are so many opportunities that we miss out on, so many moments that we miss out on because we're not confident enough in ourselves. We think that, oh my gosh, I'm going to get, I'm going to get you know judged or I'm going to get it wrong or I'm not good enough or I'm going to do something wrong and it's just all going to fail all of those moments that come and we stay silent and we ultimately suffer because of them 
we suffer because we don't have the confidence to speak up so the more you are silent the more you don't bring out the beauty in yourself the more that you decide to go into your shell instead of coming out and showing yourself showing your value showing the things that you can do the more you suffer the more you miss out on things that are meant for you number three become your own coach become your own mentor this is something that i did from a very young age me and my mirror besties i used to pretend that i was oprah in the mirror i could not pretend i was oprah out in public but in my bedroom in front of my teddy bears in front of my mirror me oprah winfrey <laughs> that's who i was but you can become your own coach a coach can change your life i've had several coaches in my life and they have completely changed my life from a money perspective from a career perspective and from a personality perspective a coach can change and revolutionize your life you can be that coach meet yourself in the mirror on a regular basis and do the self work good morning Koban. how are you doing today well i'm fine i'm just i'm feeling a bit nervous about what's happening today and I need, you know, I need a boost. Listen, Jakoban, you can do this. You know you can. You've been practicing. You've been moving forward. Girl, you've got the ability. Imagine yourself in that moment. Imagine yourself winning. Imagine yourself speaking up. And imagine yourself doing the best job that you can possibly do. Girl, you got it. Go for it. Yes, girl. Can I get a yes, queen? Yes, queen. Ah, uh -uh. I need a yes, queen. Okay, yes, queen. That's it. Now go and win, my girl. Go and win. Number four, prepare. Here's the thing. I learned over time. Confidence is something that you can gain if you have three things with you. Let me tell you, life is a battlefield. It is a war. But you cannot go to the war unprepared. You can't just be there, caught off guard. Everybody's there, guns blazing. When, Skyla, you don't have anything with you. To win the war, you need three guns. The first one is intel. The more you know about the situation you're heading into, the more you know about what you need to do and what other people are going to expect of you, the better you can perform in the situation. I have literally Googled the venues where is this venue what can i expect what is beautiful about this venue what are the talking points about this venue who is going to be there what can i say to that person those things have helped me to be so confident in the morning in the moment that's why i've gone to events all by myself without my friends because i know this person's going to be there 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 when i see this person i'm going to talk to them about this I'm going to ask them about, hey, how did that go? How did this experience went? Oh my word, you did so well when you did A, B, C, D, E. Mm-hmm, it works. The other gun you need is clarity. The more clear you are on yourself, on your goal and what you are going to do, the better you become in the moment. So who are you in the situation and what does the situation need from you? You want to gain confidence in the boardroom? What is your position? What is your job? Why are we going to this meeting? And what desired outcome do they want? Having the clarity on that will help you to think along the lines of, so if I bring up this point, it's going to help to move us forward. If I bring up that point, it's going to help to move us forward. Because if you help people move forward, if you help people achieve their goals, the more liked you will become, you will become, the more influential you will become, and the more you will stand out. And the third piece of armory that is part of your arsenal that's gonna get you to win that job, to win that game, to win the war, is courage. Now you can practice this. Practice, practice, practice. Sit with your coach and think about the different ways that you can be confident in the moment and practice them imagine yourself being confident in the moment so i don't know if you know about this but it has been shown that many athletes prepare themselves for races by imagining themselves winning it they imagine themselves they sit they close their eyes and they imagine themselves sitting 
standing in the starting block getting into the starting block putting their legs in putting their hands down right in front of the line they imagine themselves preparing they imagine the gun going off they imagine themselves getting off the starting block and running they imagine the whole track and the running process as they pull away from people and everybody's behind them and they imagine themselves going past the finish line and being the first there that's what they imagine they imagine themselves in the moment they future pace themselves they imagine themselves in the moment doing the thing and winning so imagine yourself in the moment so this just leads me to point number five which is to have practice sessions guys i'm there in front of the mirror looking crazy hey girl how you doing we're gonna do this i imagine videos all the time i imagine myself recording videos all the time so have practice sessions every time i see a mirror i am practicing something i am practicing posing for a picture i am practicing recording a video i am practicing my interview with oprah which is gonna happen one day i am practicing myself interviewing some of my favorite people i am practicing myself being on radio i am practicing everything whether the moment is there whether it has been confirmed or it's a figment of my imagination i am practicing find practice moments for yourself if your shower needs to be a little bit longer for you to practice make it longer if you need to take five minutes to brush your teeth instead of just two just so that you can practice your posture practice yourself practice your body language do it have daily practice sessions that will have you pretending to be in certain moments being more confident number six challenge yourself to do things that are uncomfortable so there's this thing my husband's doing it for quite some time he has been for quite some time where people take cold showers in the morning even through winter and what they say is that it's almost like you're practicing to fight through resistance or fight the flinch right when you feel cold water the first thing you do is like yo ish, hi I've done it before. I was jumping up and down like I was crazy. So when you take the cold shower, what they say is that it teaches you to fight through resistance and it gives you your first challenge of the day. And when you go through the challenge and you win that challenge, you become more used to fighting things throughout the day. So you become more used to resisting, fighting resistance throughout the day. So can you think of things where you fight the resistance throughout the day? Fight the resistance of, of, of putting a phone on snooze. Challenge yourself to do things that freak you out a little bit. Challenge yourself to get the spider instead of asking somebody else to get the spider for you. Challenge yourself to do things that would normally scare you. Maybe you're in a line in, at the shops and you never talk to people. Challenge yourself to say hi to someone you've never said hi to before. It's really easy to spark a conversation in a line. It's really, it's really easy. You can say, oh. They're taking really long today, hey? You know, it may be raining. Talk about the rain, whatever it is. Challenge yourself to do things that are a little bit outside of your comfort zone. And it starts with the small things. The more you do that, the bigger the challenges become and the more confident you become because you are used to overcoming all of these small things. Number seven is to gas yourself up. Girl, gas yourself up. You are stunning. You are fabulous. You are an amazing speaker. You are the best speaker. Oh, girl, the world has never seen a speaker like you. Hey, have you seen yourself? Oh, girl, you are CEO. They just don't know it. They don't know that you're the next CEO. You're about to take over. You are the best thing that has ever happened to this company. You are going to go show them your, your accounting girl is the best accounting in the world. Ooh, damn. Have you seen yourself in those heels? Mm. Look at that. Bodice, honey. Ah, the color looks good on you. Ay, 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 ay. Today you are finding a man. Today, I and he's going to look at you and think to himself, "Oh, you are out of my league, girl. Look at you. You are talented. The world just doesn't know it. You are so talented. Guess yourself up. E pompe. Duck. Just pump yourself up." all day every day this is where affirmations come in people don't really understand affirmations in that when you speak good things to yourself those good things become you you speak things into existence the bible says it right the power of the tongue that you can speak life or death through the tongue and you can speak life into yourself you can speak confidence into yourself you can speak long hair into yourself you can speak life into any situation you are in 
and if you repeat those affirmations they help you you become those affirmations because you repeat them and your mind gets it gets into your mind and your mind believes it that is where affirmations come in gas yourself up i'll give you a list of affirmations in the ebook all about how to gain your confidence seven hacks of building your confidence and the biggest one is this one number seven gas yourself up tell yourself good things all the time i am strong we know when i exercise i'm there lunging i am strong i am capable i'm an amazing mother i'm a strong wife i am you know i'm immaculate <laughs> i'm magnificent i am strong i am mentally and physically and emotionally fit i you know all of those things I am, I am, I am. And the affirmations that help me to grow, that build myself mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, all round. Gas yourself up. All right, beautiful people. That is it for today's Boss Moves Monday. Whew, I shed my heart. I gutted myself for you. I laid it all on the table and I hope you take it. <laughs> and I hope that it helps you out. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The family is growing and it makes me so happy. So please, thumbs up and subscribe. It is completely free. There's nothing to lose from subscribing and everything to gain from becoming part of this beautiful family. Until next time, beautiful people. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Kapani Shimange and this is How I Do Things. Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for watching my video and thank you for making it right until the end. Now if you haven't gone to my website to download the ebook all about the 7 hacks of building your confidence, then head over to www.kopanishmange.com and you can sign up to the gorgeous gang and get that ebook completely free. Now until next time, I love you so much for joining the family and I appreciate you so much. Until next time gorgeous, bye.